Welcome to the second video, Introduction to PubMed. In the first video, we had talked about the need to know every resource that we will be examining. So let's understand in this video session what PubMed is all about. So we are having an introduction to PubMed. As I said, it's always important to know your resource. And in this case, the question is, what is PubMed? So is it a collection of journals, which many people think it is? No, it is not. Is it a collection of journal articles? Again, the answer is no. Very often, people tell me it is a collection of journal articles. But it's important to know that PubMed does not have full articles from a journal. Let's understand what exactly PubMed is. PubMed is an index to articles published in around 5,000 plus journals. The number is constantly increasing every year. Now, these journals may be English language journals or journals in many other languages. But as I said earlier, the full article is not in PubMed and PubMed is only an index. So what is an index? Let's understand that. An index contains bibliographic details of articles in the respective journals. Bibliographic details of an article means the who is the author of the article, what is the title of the article, what are the journal details, the name of the journal, the volume number, issue number, page number, etc. And if there is an abstract, which is a short form of the article, that also is in the set of bibliographic details. Many articles may have a lot more bibliographic details than this, but these are the most common bibliographic details about a single article. So PubMed, for any journal, it means it contains these details for all the articles published in all the issues of the journal. So again, if I correlate to the telephone directory, the telephone directory, if I'm listed in that, will have my name, my address and phone number. But the directory does not fit me inside the directory. That's the kind of difference. So remember, PubMed, the database, does not contain the full text of the articles. It may link a bibliographic record to the full text on the journal website. And whether that article is free or not on the journal's website is the publisher's decision. It is not PubMed's decision whether the article is free or not. A lot of people complain PubMed does not give us full text. PubMed never promised to give you the full text. PubMed, the promise is it will contain an index to every article from journals which are included in PubMed. And in addition, they link to the full text article if they can do it with all the technological requirements being right. So that is exactly what PubMed is. Again, remember, the PubMed database is compiled in the National Library of Medicine, USA. The whole database is on the website of the NLM. For every journal selected for inclusion in PubMed, the editor has to send every issue to them and also provide access to the full text articles to the NLM which means from the issues that they send electronically, they import the bibliographic details and they have access to the full text articles on the journal's website. There are some questions that are frequently asked. So let us answer these here. First one is, what is the difference between PubMed and Medline? Medline was the original database compiled by the National Library of Medicine. 
before it was hosted on the internet. It in fact first started as a print resource called the Index Medicus and when computerized cataloging started, it became a computerized resource called Medline. In fact, it used to be available only on subscription online, later dispatched to libraries as CDs and then about 20 years ago, that is in 1996, PubMed became hosted online with the Medline database. Once it came onto the internet, the PubMed website, the NLM that hosted it, decided to include a lot more journals, but they were not part of the original PubMed, uh, original Medline database. They, it's a separate database. The two databases together become PubMed. In further lessons, we'll understand one more significant difference between PubMed and Medline. In short, the Medline articles get descriptive tags about what each article is about, whereas the new journals that have come in, which are not to be included in Medline, do not get those descriptive keywords. The second question, what is PubMed Central? PubMed Central is what is called an archive. It is a place where full text articles are deposited. So here it is not an index to journals, but the full text archives of different journals. What makes it different from the journal website? In the archive, you may not get information about how to subscribe to the journal and more. It's just where all articles of a specific issue of a journal are deposited. So in theory, if a journal ever decides to close down, the archive of all the articles, old ones, are still available in PubMed Central. Question three, does PubMed include books? The answer is yes, but it's very selective, very few books, which are mainly more of the pure medical sciences and not clinical books that are more commonly used. So there are very few books available in PubMed and they are of the pure science uh, domain. So with that, we conclude this lesson. Please revise this thoroughly so that you're very clear about what exactly PubMed is and that helps you use the PubMed website later to do a proper search and retrieve more relevant articles later on. Thank you so much. Thank you.